Okay. Hey Taylor. Hey. Just like. Um. So we've prepared for you we a have really awesome video. And there's so many props. Like you can't see it, but there's like. There. It's gonna be really awesome. It's really awesome. Okay. Go ahead, Bryn. So I'm gonna read you something. Okay. Guess what I'm reading. Sir. You can guess what I'm reading from this line. <laughs> I showed it to her. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. Ooh, and this is Abby's annotation. Matter of fact, very blunt statement. Mocking? <laughs> what? We shall find out. In vain I have struggled. It will not do. My feelings will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. And Abby underlined that part because she thought it was actually really a special. Just wrote like a or she was just trying to BS her annotation. <laughs> I think it was that. Okay. Yeah, let's see another good part. Okay, this is after Elizabeth says pretty much. She um, tells Mr. Darcy that her sentiments have undergone a very material change. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just read the whole book? I <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is Mr. Darcy's reaction. The happiness which this reply produced was such as he had probably never felt before, and he expressed himself on the occasion as sensibly and as warmly as a man violently in love can be supposed to do. Had Elizabeth been able to encounter his eye, she might have seen how well the expression of heartfelt delight diffused over his face became him. But, though she could not look, she could listen, and he told her of he told her of feelings which, in proving of what importance she was to him, made his affection every moment more valuable. Aww. I know Abby doesn't like it as much as <laughs> me and you, but it's our thing. Pride and prejudice. Okay, my turn. Okay, I have a couple books because I couldn't just pick one. Okay. The first is an almost perfect crime. Oh, oh, I have one picked out. Just gotta find it. She's looking for it. Okay. <clears throat> Gunfight at the OK Motel. <laughs> I'm just, it's a mystery. Brain. Shh. Okay. <clears throat> it's just like that. It's okay. 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 Jack Bosco entered the OK Motel office. <clears throat> Jack Bosco entered the OK Motel office to settle his phone charges and return the key. You see it on the news? Two guys just robbed a bank here in town and drove off with a million in cash. I guess they'll catch him. They got the roads blocked. The motel manager grunted and printed out a receipt. He watched as a burly traveling salesman walked out the door, nearly colliding with the two men who were just coming inside to register. Two men? What? What? Two men just robbed a bank. <clears throat> the newcomer said little kept their heads down, and seemed in a hurry to get a room, even though it was only 11.30 a.m. <laughs> At high noon, the shot rang out, a single gunshot. Since only one unit was op occupied, the manager didn't have any trouble telling the 911 operator where to send the police. And that does not make any sense. <clears throat> the responding officer <laughs> recognized the car in the motel lot, from the APB and called for backup. Within minutes, six patrol cars were on the scene, and a captain was shouting through a bullhorn, Police! You're under arrest! Open the door slowly! Throw out your weapons and come out! Before he could finish, a figure at the picture window broke the glass and sprayed the lot with a spurt of semi-automatic fire. Twelve officers shot back. Over the next few minutes, they fired dozens of rounds until the shadowy form by the corner of the window no longer seemed to be there. I don't think he's fired since our first response, the captain mumbled to his lieutenant. Maybe we should go in. When they broke down when they broke <laughs> when they broke down the door, the police found one of the robbers on the floor dead. A volley of bullets had knocked him off a chair positioned by the window. Stupid <laughs> He should have given him he should have given up or hate himself better. The captain stepped around to the other side of the bed. That's when he discovered the second body on the rug, lying on its side, facing the bed. The burly figure had been gagged and loosely tied with sash cords cut down from the blinds. 
The motel manager identified him as Jack Bosco, the salesman who had just who had who had checked out just moments before the bank robbers checked in. The cap the captain examined the cords and shook his head. Not very good with knots. He looked at the single bullet wound. <laughs> He looked at the single bullet wound and shook his head again. Why the heck would they do this? What's the point of having a hostage if you kill him off? Kill him right off. Okay. The second bank robber was caught a short time later trying to steal a car from a nearby auto dealership. After we checked in, he said, I ran across to the market to get for food and cigarettes. I didn't take the car just in case there was a description out. Of course, I didn't know there were there were plastering the TV with the bank video video of our faces and the car and everything else. When I left Buddy, I'm guessing as a second robber, we didn't have a hostage or anything. Honest. All I know is when I come out of the market, there's a parking lot full of cops shooting up the place. So I just ran. Where's the rest of the money? The captain snapped. Oh, sorry. Where's the rest of the money? <laughs> the captain snapped. What rest of the money? It's all in the room. Four big bags of it. No, it's not. Only two bags are there. What did you do to the other two? Honest, I just went to the store. A half hour later, there's a shootout and and a dead hostage and half the money gone? I don't know what happened. A short time later, the police discovered the whereabouts of a missing bag. Who done it? <laughs> One, what happened in the motel room? Two, how did half the money end up where it did? Three, who killed Jack Bosco? Evidence. This case can be solved in three clues. Buddy's autopsy report, Jeff Bosco's autopsy report, Jack's car, crime scene report, investigation of Jack's past. So, I guess I'll tell you that later in a different video, because I really don't understand how this works. Oh, you have to, like, look up the evidence. And okay, I really don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, we're getting really okay. boring. I've, I'll give you a short one. This one's, like, they're, like, super short. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be like a story to this place though. Should have planned it out before. No, I really should have. Okay, the sniper. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. I was just going to read wait, this wait, one with a line. I'm not going to say. Okay, it's been seven minutes, so hurry up. Okay, this is just one little line that I liked an Abby's annotation for. It says, the day passed most pleasantly away, the morning in bustle and shopping, and the evening at one of the theaters. Out doing stuff, and it's pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> true, it's true. Heavy. Okay, the Very sniper, the sniper. Okay, no, no, no. Circle, the circle and the line. You can tell this to all the people at the annex and the cousins. Okay. They died because the circle crossed the line. Explain. Clues. <clears throat> they died an accidental death in the course of a journey. They could see the line drawing nearer. However, the line never moved. Huh. Answer in a later video. Oh! Mr. Darcy soon drew the attention of the room by his fine, tall person, handsome features, mm -hmm. noble line, <laughs> and, and the report which was in general circulation oh, yeah. within five minutes after his entrance of his having 10000 a year. Oh my gosh! Okay, now my real excerpt from the click. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, Taylor. The block estate. The kitchen. 10.49 p.m. August 31st. She's probably like so poor by now. Matthew, wipe that confused look off your face. Matthew's mom, Kendra, said. It's really very simple. You're not going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a quick one. I know. Well, you obviously were getting barred. Okay, wait, hang on, just a sec. <laughs> this is so lame. Okay. Intense concentration. Okay. That was pretty cool. This is what we do at Abby's house. <laughs> bye, Taylor. Bye. Oh, Facebook, YouTube. Okay, <laughs> bye.